Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total Realism with me, Grey Hunter. Well, last time we kicked the crap out of the Seleucids just for something different. Patinus, user, glorious warrior. So, our next goal is to deal with the Egyptians down here. But first, uh, you'll notice that we have a lot less money than we did last time when we finished off. The reason for that is because I decided that what I was going to do was I was going to go around and destroy all the non-culture buildings, so mostly barracks. I left a lot of the uh, stuff like foundries and uh, temples, etc, because you wouldn't generally destroy the entirety of the infrastructure of a place, and the Romans were very uh, forgiving, generally, of people's religious differences. They didn't generally uh, condemn you for your different religious belief to them. Unless, of course, you were involved in human sacrifice, which is a whole different conundrum, and totally okay for them to have a bit of an overreaction to that. So, we have gone and done a lot of building programs. I have destroyed some of the minor temples. I've left the major temples alone for the most part. Uh, but, you know, mostly I have built uh, incoming, increasing buildings. What are you doing there? Sit in there. I've built mainly, mainly um, income, increasing buildings. Go over there, thank you. And uh, order increasing buildings because we do want to increase the order of our empire. It is an empire, Republican name, empire in reality. And next turn, we will be sending out a few separate forces on attacks. I would like to take Heracleopolis this turn, but I did do an attack already. With Petinus, so according to our rules of engagement, that we cannot fight more than one battle a uh, during the well, we can't fight more than one offensive campaign during the winter season. I will not attack. I will stay on this bridge, and you never know. Maybe they'll attack from behind if Androcles decides that he's going to get involved. He's got a fairly weak army. We can fuck him up. This guy, I think, is the one that I was worried about. No, where's Elephant Man? There's a dude with elephants. There he is, Antidorus. Yeah. Elephants, mm, not what I'm hoping to see. Imperator. I was thinking, though, about retiring a few of these Imperator. people to cities so they can get promotions. So I think Nias the Victor will go to this city, leaving Captain Gaius in command. General. Can you guys reach Tertius Victor? No. Okay, well in that case, he gets to sit in the city as well. He can sit in Memphis. Make sure all is okay, and Decius can hold the fort. Uh, you, I want to move back towards Cyprus. And you, I'm not sure what I want to do with you yet, but you can sit in the docks just so that the, uh, the rebel ships don't attack you. And you, sir, Captain Nero, you need to get up here right away, because you have reinforcements. You do, you do. So, actually, that might be a thought. I might send these veteran legionary, uh, these veteran legionaries and their cavalry back because we've got enough legionaries here to make up the numbers. So we don't have to take the whole army back. We'll just send the legionaries. Maybe Picta? I don't know. I want Picta to sit here because this is where the main assault is going to come in, I'd imagine. And a little bit of housekeeping as well. I do want you, sir, to ride west with this cavalry. And you can get in there. Uh, you I don't want. You I don't want. And you I don't want. If I combine you two, what does that leave me with? A 75 strong unit of Italian cavalry, not the worst thing in the world. You have cavalry. Yes, you've got plenty. You've got Augustus the Handsome and Asinius Livius Drusus. So you're all good. Do you have cavalry? You do. You don't need it. You're in a city. You don't need it. You're in a city. You have some Thracian heavies. And you, you've got plenty of cavalry. You're fine. Alright, well, we'll keep it there. We might not need it at all. But if I change my mind, at least I have some cavalry to put out in the in the open if I need it. So our plan will be... I had a ship here. Yes, I did. You will go sit here. 
in the next turn, he'll go to Pergamon. Uh, Sulla will make it to Pergamon, and then he will board ship off ship over here and march across the Peloponnesus. I don't know, does this count as part of the Peloponnesus? We'll say he'll march across Aetolia then. March across Aetolia and come up this way because I'm going to build another legion after this. And I will need a general to command it. You will need a general as well. I don't know what I'm going to do about them yet. I might just sit them up here-ish and just use them as a home defense area sort of thing. So let us quick save and end the turn and see what happens. Uh, Picta was attacked by Captain Cleart, that guy, and Admetos Helios. That's actually not an army I'm worried about. We can win this one. We can win this one easily, I'd imagine. I hope. If we don't win it easily, well then I'm a very foolish person, am I not? But we should do. So, if I'm correct with what I said in the last session, I believe that the Egyptians are throwing everything they have at us. So if we defeat this wave, Friends, we should be fine. Romans, Ooh, this is different. I don't know if I've heard this one before. Be At least not in this LP. There stands the army of the Egyptian pharaoh. Worthy foes to a man. Oh? Worthy foes, you say? They will try to cross in force. This we cannot allow. They must fail. They will. There are more of them than there are of us. So be it. We will fight like lions instead of men. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. When I set my heart on an attack, I do so knowing that I will win, that my men will win, that victory is within reach. All we need to do is stretch out and grasp the foe firmly by the throat. The seer has been consulted, but his vision is clouded. It's night time. we make our own destiny then. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Huzzah! Awesome. You go, picked up. Okay, so we need to put... Oh, God. Um... Alright, first cohort's gonna sit over here then. They're gonna hold the center. That might actually be the best plan, because there's so goddamn many of them. You will hold this flank. And you will hold ooh, this flank. Good job. And you. You and you. You get to march across here. All of you guys, of course, are grouped together. You two get to come with cavalry. Not wedges, wedges are bad. You get to come with two. And you three get to sit here. Alright, plenty of Samnites. Should be good. And the Velites, you get to sit there. Group number two. You guys will sit over here. Archers, I don't want you to fire fire arrows. Fire arrows, eh, they're not really useful. They're good against elephants, though. So, if they attack us with that elephant guy, we will definitely use them. That reinforcement's delayed? Yeah. Get to fire at will and run. And you guys get over here too. Go, 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 go. Charge. Get over there. So the cavalry, I'm hoping, will make it in to attack this lot before it's too late. Oh, you guys are all firing. I, 
I clicked on the wrong guys. I was completely confused for a moment there. Come on. Murder them. Good job. Good job. We're using a lot of our missiles on the Peltast, but I'm okay with that. We just have to cause a rout. If we manage to cause a rout anywhere, it's a chance of it becoming larger. Yeah, 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 I know. You're not particularly pleased with me. Alright. So the first cohort is going to take a beating. But our cavalry is across. It's all the infantry? Mostly. Whoa, game. Chill. Alright, most of the infantry is across. You guys need to get over there. Be lined up. You guys going to be their reserve. Yeah, we've lost a couple of men already. But we seem to be winning. Take me to them. Charge. Oh, of course they have. The enemy reinforcements have, of course, arrived. But... We have murdered those sons of bitches, so that is a plus. There's only 600 of the enemy reinforcements as well, so it's not that many people, comparatively speaking. Do I need to throw in the reserves just yet? Probably a good idea. Get in there. Now, if we can kill the general quickly have an even better chance. I mean, we're not going to lose, but I'd like to win most decisively, if we can. Cavalry needs to get back a little bit. You two need to charge in, like, properly. And yeah, you guys can be on fire at will, too. Alright. We have some friends. Welcome to the party. How are you? Oh, you're good. I'm glad. Now, how goes the fight up here? They're shaken. If we kill the general, we should have them. Can we zoom in and find the general? Like, no, it's just a massive blob. I think he's somewhere up the front, though. I believe. You guys need to get ready to charge in and help. Oh, there he is. Found him. You kill him for real. God's be Thanks. praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! Alright, that should break most of these guys. So get in there. Charge, charge, charge. Excellent. Murder them all. Murder all of them. Kill every last one. The more of these guys that break, the better, because these guys are going to start uh, wondering whether or not they should run. And the answer is, of course, yes. Yes, they should. Uh, you, sir. Help mop up. Charge in. Charge in. Out of them all. That other army might even just retreat. The gods be praised. Yeah, it looks like they are. The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now so we will crush these men. There we go. Here we come. What have we lost? We lost 2% of our force that time. That's even better. Usually we lose about 4%, which is pretty good. Losing less, losing less is definitely a plus. Yeah, 2% for 80 odd. We'll kill all of them, obviously. But it's still counting those guys that are retreating. The enemy no. show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Not even frightened rabbits, just dead men. The, en the enemy has been crushed. So we lost. 20-odd men, I think? 
first cohort got 13 men back out of the 24 that it lost. These legionaries got 8 men back. So a few of the legionaries died for really reals, but most of the casualties were in the Aquila unit, which can actually take the casualties, because it's so big. I've act Actually, I should have been putting the Aquila unit holding the bridge, I guess, because they're 240 strong, I believe, in the beginning. Hello. Oh, hi. Polyperchon. Another Polyperchon. Polyperchon, are you aware that you have exactly fuck all? <laughs> I just want you to know this before I proceed to kick your ass. Just as an FYI. So I think they besiege Alexandria as well. I cannot see. But that's okay because we can send the army under Captain Nero to reinforce. The Pharaoh has sent his servants against us. Do not fear and then them. Brutus can advance out of the city. Us, just like other men. Damn right they will. The river must run red. They must not gain this shore if we are to win today. They outnumber us, that much is true. But then we do have a fearsome reputation. So perhaps they were afraid. <laughs> I like it. I have fought these men many times, and even now they must be praying to their false gods for mercy. They will have little enough of it from me. Huzzah! We just crushed them. Now we must do it again. An eagle circled the camp three times, then flew towards the rising sun. Such a portent can only mean a good day for us today. Sweet. Eagles, awesome. Great for yeah, 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 yeah. You've won many great battles. Good job. Wow, they're silver. I didn't think they'd be silver just yet. But they are. Nice. Uh, okay, well, seeing as that other plan worked so well last time, I'm just going to repeat it. So, you sit on this side. You sit on this side. You, you, and you. Sit over here. I'm going to make you control two, actually, and make uh, these guys control group number one. So you sit right there. Uh, you are the guys going onto the bridge. You get to be control group number three. You get to be control group number four. You guys get to sit right there, and you will once again be the reserve, and you can just sort of sit there. Oh, and Picta, of course. I almost forgot about him. Picta, come here. Actually, no, come here. Okay, so two, three, four. So same plan as before, because it worked out really well. Two, three... Oh, charge. Get back over here so I can actually command them. Thank you. You're on the right. You're on the left. All of you run and hit. Nah. So, we do have a cavalry contingent with this enemy army this time. Oh, of course, how foolish of me. Almost forgot the most important part of the plan. Well, they're not the most important part. They're one of the most important parts. Alright, cavalry. Where is their blister? Oh, it's not blister, it's scorpions. Alright, well, you need to get over this way. Uh, is everyone... Yes, everyone is approaching this way. I th believe I've caught it on camera, but I had one instance where I told them to go... Um, I've had one instance, I think it was in this campaign, when I was playing and the legionaries decided that they actually wanted to go, go across the bridge to get to the place that I'd ordered them to go, as opposed to, you know, across the ford that they were standing in front of. God knows why they decided that was the best of plans, but they did. Uh, if you guys could just get into marching order and charge across like idiots, that would be grand. Could you do that for me, please? This could be problematic. They appear to be letting me get across. Usually, they're headlong charging me like idiots at this point across this bridge. It's usually what's happening right about now. So, we have a slight issue. 
because it doesn't appear like they're doing that right this second. Nope, there they go. Good job. Predictable. I was hoping they'd stay predictable, but you never quite know. Alright, so we have camped out on their flank. Let's move up. We don't want to move too quickly because doing so would probably provoke them to actually leave a rear guard, which might actually stop us for a little bit. We want to let them get confident and start crossing. There you go. Okay, they're hitting us with scorpion fire. But luckily, they've left pretty much nobody to help out. Is that the general already up there? No. I thought it was, but it wasn't. Oh, there he is. Well, his unit did anyway. Alright, you guys need to get up here at the double quick. Like, for real. And you need to charge. Stop them from throwing bloody great bolts at us. Because I don't like it when they do that. Alright, there we go. Better. We should get into position just in time. Chase them down. Excellent. Now, Sam Knights, I need you to get in here now. Just to be sure that you'll be useful. In preventing them from breaking through, because it would be terrible if they broke through. You need to get moving. I will turn them to attack these Peltasts, most likely. I just want to wait a second. Move up a little bit further. You're actually good where you are. Alright, come back and charge. Oh yeah, and you need to not do that. Alright, I'm gonna throw these guys in there too. Need to kill the general, wherever he is. If we can do that... Is that him there? Okay, we, we are actually fighting him, I think. He's around here somewhere, so long as we continue sh fighting them, we'll be okay. What are you doing? Get back over here. Help out. You guys, turn. We will be ready. You guys can just hold. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are indeed being attacked. Alright, charge them. Charge them. Hopefully this will break part of their rear. Or if it won't break their part the rear, it'll at least make it think. Oh no, we broke some of it. Nice. We definitely broke some of it. Alright. We've thrown in pretty much everything. You need to get in there too. Forward, so the spirit of his army is broken too. That should be that. Oh hey. Murder him. Murder him. He's right there among you. Murder him. Good job. The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! Gotcha. There we go. Beautiful. So we probably lost a bit more than 4%. Yeah, we lost about 8% of our force. But I'm hoping that we'll get some of that back, most of it. And it won't be that bad. Considering that this army was 4,000 men strong, and we do have reinforcements on the way, so I can send our actual legionaries here back home for retraining, it's not that bad. All things considered. And I'd imagine that a lot of the casualties came from the ballista, as opposed to actual combat, when in the last uh, attack we managed to kill the ballista fairly early, so we didn't have to worry about it too much. And that should be that. Don't be giving me shit. We have murdered these sons of bitches. 
He put the little graph down for a second. It was like, no, you're losing if more men. And yes, I am indeed losing more men, but wow. Apparently, I lost a lot of you, a lot of men. Do you stop doing that? Okay, <laughs> that could have gone better. The Aquila Legionaries got most of their men back, though. Very nice, very nice indeed. The Thracians, yeah, they lost a fair few men, but you know they're, they're mercenaries. It's okay. I'll survive. The Samnites are the ones that I'm kind of concerned about because there's no way we can get more of them. Not here. The Aquila Legionaries apparently leveled up again. Experience gained. Oh, huh. cool. So we completely obliterated that poor son of a bitch. Now, the moment of truth will be if we get attacked a third time. Because I don't know if we can hold a third. Ah. Okay. This is close to equal, but elephants. Yeah. Elephants is a pretty powerful argument. Pictor, though, he probably is like a great defender now. Yeah. He's done really, really well. Okay. And Tadorus, do your worst, sir. But this is the last major army between us and, let's say, Jerusalem. So if we beat it, the gates are open. This is a day of battle. While we stand I'll let him talk because I want to know if this is like a full quarter of our enemy strength or something. To Those men are the servants of Pharaoh. They think themselves our equals, but I think they are dead meat. They are, but those elephants can still really hurt us. They will try to cross the river, but we must stop them. Yes, we must. There are a few more of them than there are of us, but so what? Bravery must take the place of skirmishers today if we are to counter our foe's elephants. Yeah, more velites would be better. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today... When we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. When I set my heart on an attack, I do so knowing that I will win, that my men will win, that victory is within reach. All we need to do is stretch out and grasp the foe firmly by the throat. <laughs> they should like that. I have won many great victories. I guess not. I guess this is not indeed a full quarter of our enemy strength. But the Aquila Legionaries did indeed level up again. Good job, guys. Good job. Which Legion are they? Legion of Four of Roman Victrix. Not bad. Uh, I will put you and you on help hold the bridge duty because veterans are less likely to break. And with elephants coming directly at them, I am a little concerned. You are going to sit right behind. You're not going to skirmish, you're not going to fire at will though. I'm going to have to pretty much manually control these guys. Make sure that they actually attack the elephants. Because the elephants are serious business. I'm going to also make sure that the Cretans are on this. Because we are going to need to scare the bejesus out of those elephants. So let's have a look. You are holding the bridge. You are free. And so are you. Okay, I'm going to take the, the slightly larger cohort. I know, I say slightly larger, it's only two men. But it will be worth having veterans right here. You will also need to come with... I think the legionaries could break the back of the enemy force alone if they needed to. But I don't want to rely on that belief. And you'll need to be nearby, because I imagine that the elephants are going to scare the crap out of people. I think that's everything. I think we're all good. Uh, you need to get across. You need to get across, and you need to get across. Like, right now. You. This bridge fighting tactic, though, seems to be a bit more effective than my previous one, so... I'm glad we came to that realization. Even if it is really late in the LP. Right, and 
you guys all get to fire at will. You need to sit almost directly behind them. And you are doing okay. We might be able to take out the scorpions fairly quickly. Alright, you need to get over there. If we're lucky, we'll be able to charge straight at them. If we drew the elephants off onto our cavalry as well, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I could work with that. 